Hi guys, welcome back to another Age of Empires 2 build order video. So, the one we're looking at today is the Turks Fast Imperial. So, the whole point of the Turks Fast Imperial is basically just to get to the uh, Imperial Age as quickly as possible, closing the name. Um, but uh, the reason why you're doing that is because you want to take advantage of the Turks Civ bonus, which is free chemistry, which means as soon as you hit the Feudal Age, you've got access to gunpowder units which are really really strong especially versus any uh, castle age armies that you might have so as you can see um, it's just a standard start make your two houses with your starting villagers send them over to sheep and your next three villagers to come out went to sheep and uh, now we've got six on sheep the next four are going to go to wood with a lumber camp so it can be quite a strong strategy uh, works best on maps such as arena which is why i'm doing it on arena uh, but also on maps like black forest and um, and any other um, closed off maps so it does have a uh, i suppose one way to counter it would be certainly on arena one way to counter it would be going for a fast castle into a uh, unique unit so that involves pretty much just doing a castle drop so in that instance what you could do is um, come up to the uh, to the Turkish players base drop a castle get a siege workshop get some unique units together get a ram in smash through the walls and then uh, raid the economy and, and that would kind of ruin the chances of the uh, fast Imperial happening so if you wanted how to counter it that is how so now we've got four on wood next villager to come out is going to go and lure a ball and the next villager after that is going to come over and make two houses and then go to berries and then three villages after that are also going to go to berries as well so now as we can see more is coming in houses are coming down So the next three are going to go to berries. When this ball gets to about 160, 150 food, you want to send one of these existing villages to go and lure the second ball and bring that back to your town centre as well. Uh, so you can start collecting from that one. But we had a, uh, I've been experimenting with something called YouTube Shorts. It's like a new form of video. It's a bit like a TikTok. <laughs> um, sort of like a 60 second video and I uh, did one recently on um, sort of unsportsmanlike behaviour and uh, seems to have uh, caused quite a lot of uh, discussion so um, I do have another example coming up as well soon um, probably within the next week which is uh, going to be quite an interesting one so the next four villages to come out are going to go to wood make a second lumber camp so we'll end up with a total of eight on wood. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to showing you the uh, the next on the sportsmanlike behaviour <laughs> um, video, um, just purely because it was quite a good discussion topic. Um, there was obviously some who were against what I was saying, some who were quite pro what I was saying, but. Um, yeah, it's just a really good discussion. I think um, I quite enjoy a healthy discussion. So uh, do look out for that one in the future. But uh, yeah, if you do enjoy Age of Empires 2 content or you're looking to learn build orders and improve at the game, then start now by subscribing to the channel because there are a hell of a lot of build orders on the channel which you can uh, which you can learn. There's probably around 30 at the minute. There might be more. I've, I've kind of lost count. <laughs> Okay, so your next uh, five villages to come out are going to go on to the sheep and the boar, and at this point we want to start gradually adding uh, farms to the uh, to the economy. So just transferring them from the food and, and the boar over, over to the uh, over to farms as well. So we'll be having five of those. So we've got another four to go, another three to go. So I generally say try and keep sort of four or five, um, you know, five villages perhaps on sheep at this point uh, but then when you can just add another villager to uh, to farms like so
Do let me know in the comments if there's any other counters that you think work against this one. The uh, Fast Castle unit unit and uh, Siege Workshop is, a, is a, the best one I can think of necessarily but that's not to say it's the only option. You could potentially do a, a Fast Castle into crossbows with a Siege Workshop as long as you can get through the uh, get through the enemy base into the enemy base that's the main thing so I think you've just got to be aggressive against this strategy um, and, and sort of take advantage of the fact that um, you can hit them before they do their plan so as you can see now next villagers are coming out and going to gold and we're gonna have four on gold in total and then we're gonna click up and we're not gonna research loom because it's a closed map you don't need loom there's not really any threat to your villagers at this point so don't need to worry about loom which is going to save you some valuable time and then we're clicking up to the feudal age as you can see now so we do have five on sheep just finishing that sheep off and there's one more there as well that we're going to finish off but we are going to send three villagers from there over to straggler trees so it's just a tree or what's more like a bush <laughs> um, that the villagers are going to go over to and start collecting from. Just leaving this two just to finish that sheep off. So once that sheep is done they're just going to go to farms as well. And um, with these on the straggler trees they, they will be serving a purpose. So they're going to be the builders getting down a blacksmith and a market. As you can see we have made some more houses so I've not really mentioned that throughout the build but um, do make sure that you put some um, houses down as you go along. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Let's get through the feudal age. And as you can see, the sheep has finished, so they've gone over to make the farms now. And a uh, feudal age is just about to come in, so we're just moving those villagers over to the position where I want to build the market and the blacksmith, like so. And we've got two more villagers queued up, and they're also going to go to gold. Well, so at this point we've got think, nine villages. Yeah, there's one up there that I've not selected. Nine villages on farms, eight on wood, four on berries, and we're going to have six on gold. And then there's going to be those three builders. Now, once those buildings are done, uh, we're going to send those builders, builders over to farms. So we're going to have 12 on farms, and uh, we should also have enough uh, to research. There we go, as you can see, double bit axe just come in. It would be good if you were able to uh, afford to get horse collar at this point as well, but it might be a little bit tight on food to be able to get a horse collar at this point. Uh, but do try and do it. I don't do it in this um, video, but um, it probably would be beneficial. I think we do probably have enough food. Um, to be able to do it with this build, so it might be worth just doing it anyway. Uh, just because it'll help you with wood in the long term going forward. Because we do struggle a little bit for wood later on in the build when we're uh, at the castle, um, going to the Imperial Age. So, at this point. We've sold our stone as well, as you can see. So it's just giving us that little bit of uh, gold boost. And as you can see, we've got two more villages queued up. They're going to go to gold. And uh, we're also taking a couple of villages from wood. We're going to make a siege workshop and a monastery down here as well, just so we've got the two buildings that we need to be able to advance to the Imperial Age. Okay, so the berries are now done. I'm going to take those villagers, make a lumber camp up here, and um, start um, getting some wood income. So the siege workshop is done, and the monastery is about to be finished, and this village is going to come out. So we are a little bit short on gold, so we do have to kind of drop off some gold there. Struggled a little bit. Um, you may be able to perhaps sell 100 gold, which is actually what I, 100 food, which is actually what I did there to be able to uh, to uh, advance. So you may have to um, you may have to tweak 
the, uh, the resources with the market a little bit. Now, I think the big problem that I, that I had though, which is what delayed it slightly, is because there was two villages for quite a while that kind of got stuck because of the beautiful unit path in, um, and they couldn't drop off the food, uh, drop off the gold, sorry. So I think that just had quite a bit of an impact on the, the gold of income there but um, we did actually have enough food to be able to have got um, horse collar but again just a bit of a job I think it's a good job we didn't do because we had to sell 100 food to be able to um, get the gold in um, so really at this point um, on the way up to the Imperial Age we want to be looking at getting um, a couple of ranges down and obviously the barracks first so uh, just making a house going to make a barracks and as you can see um, as I mentioned before we're, we're starting to struggle on uh, wood a little bit I've got horse collar coming in now but we are struggling on wood a little bit again you could use your market um, if you need to because there's plenty of uh, plenty of gold in there at the minute and we did uh, we have also started to research um, bow saw as well so it's one of those things do you research bow saw at this point or do you leave it until you've got your ranges up um, in hindsight it probably would have been better for me to have left it until um, I'd got the ranges up because as you can see I've been able to get one down or start building one but struggling to get enough resources for a second one um, so had I not done that I would have been able to get the um, archery ranges both up in time for hitting the food age and then uh, we could have started on um, getting hand cannoneers out pretty much straight away so a little bit a little bit sloppy in that respect um, but uh, I suppose it's good to show you um, where you can kind of learn from from my mistakes so just gonna send a couple more over to gold uh, because we are going to be looking at getting um, quite a lot of hand cannoneers and bombard cannons out at this point uh, so we'll probably start sending some more over to wood as well just so that we've got enough um, villages on wood to be able to maintain bombard cannon production but as you can see we've got hand cannoneers coming out now as well so just going to get a bit of a mass of those together get some of the bombard cannons together perhaps um, once you've got two bombard cannons um, and a, a little bit of a massive hand cannon is that's when you start going on the attack now you don't need to have a massive massive army at this point because as I say um, they are pretty strong and they should be able to quite easily uh, beat um, fuel age units I'm um, sorry castle age units and just to make don't make sure you get you know, housed like I've done there um, so in terms of the build, the, the actual build is pretty much done. What I'm just going to do now is just showing you the kind of the execution of, of the build in terms of uh, going on the attack. So uh, again, housed. <laughs> uh, it's a recurring theme here. Um, but again, as you can see, we've got more and more hand cannoneers coming out. And then so we're just waiting for a little bit more wood until we can get the uh, next bombard cannon out should be able to do now so the next bombard is on the way so by the time that bombard com uh, cannon comes out we're going to then go on the attack so just wait for the second one to come out keep making some more hand cannoneers get that masked up a little bit and then we'll go on the attack at this point uh, in a lot of games certainly in lower games if, you, if, you, if your um, opponent's not being aggressive they'll just be purely concentrating on booming up at this point and that's kind of what you can see the AI is doing they're just booming the going around collecting relics and uh, getting a, a strong economy together uh, whereas you're kind of getting ready to go on the attack and stop causing them a lot of havoc you probably find that the enemy is actually nowhere near imperial age let's have a look at his resources so you've got yeah nowhere near picking up at the moment um, doesn't have enough of the buildings together to go up yet either so yeah a long way off him going to the imperial age Meanwhile, you're starting the attack with an Imperial Age army. And there could even be a, a choice pretty soon that you could make where you could start getting some um, stables down and start getting some upgrades for your units, uh, start getting some Hussar out because the Turks also get free Hussar. So uh, now we've actually broken into the enemy base, you could start spamming Hussar at this point. 
if you um, changed your focus of your economy onto, um, onto food a little bit more and then um, just do lo loads of um, star raiding. But that's kind of what you do, you just sort of break through the walls, start coming forward with your army. As you can see we've got um, 17 hand cannoneers now and two bombards. There's um, more hand cannoneers, more bombards on the way and it's pretty much just a case of spamming those at this point and hitting the enemy early. Um, at this point your opponent will probably start getting a little bit worried if they've not gone for a, a castle drop type um, build or, uh, or you know, you've got a defensive castle but I mean even the defensive castle would not be a problem for the bombard cannons. It might just slow down your advance into the base a little bit but um, you should be able to quite easily you know, get that get that uh, castle down with the bombards and uh, pick off any troops that are coming out especially once you've got a, a you know, decent mass of them, I mean there's 21 hand cannoneers here decent mass of those like that would uh, quite easily counter a few uh, castle age army that would, would come your way just got to make sure you don't lose your, your bombard cannons really but I think quite often as I say your opponent will just be booming at this point so then you've gone in and just totally ruined, <laughs> ruined their economy uh, this is only against the AI, so I will be uploading a video of putting this into practice in a, an actual multiplayer game next time I, uh, I do get um, an arena map through the ranked map generation. Look at this, look at this, boom! <laughs> Practicing the attack grounds with these. I don't know how that monk managed to get away with no HP lost. It looked like it was a dead hit, but um, obviously not. But another mangonel coming out now for the opposing player. As you can see, we've still got more and more hand cannoneers, more bombards coming up. And uh, at this point, so really, I'd, I'd suggest at this point you want to start looking at um, trying to um, you know, manage your economy and getting a boom going yourself. Um, obviously, with this being just a game against the AI, which I'm already on top of and pretty much worn. Um, I wasn't being too particular about the um, economy, but yeah, it certainly would be if it was more of a you know, proper multiplayer game. But as you can see, that knight there just died <laughs> quite easily. Might have been a different story if it was quite a collection of knights, but um, I'm pretty sure the uh, hand cannon is still would have been able to get on top of them quite well. So. If you enjoy Age of Empires 2 content, you're looking to improve at the game or learn build orders and start now by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any further uploads. Uh, so that's it for this one guys, I shall see you on the next one.